Now it's time for Cats Gone Wild and our Coddled Cats. Spoiling our furry feline friends is common, but some cats give new meaning to the word coddled. One pampered pair of cats, Hellcat and Brownie, inherited nearly half a million dollars in the 1960s. Another affluent feline was left a 50-room mansion. And then there was Morris. Morris the cat was so famous he was invited by President Nixon to co-sign the Animal Welfare Act. In Japan, most people don't have the option of owning a cat. Strict laws prohibit them in some apartments, so cat cafes are all the rage. There are 40 of these cafes in Tokyo to date, where patrons come from miles away to play with these pampered kitties who take up residence at the cafes. <laughs> these spoiled cats have only one problem, how to deal with the paparazzi. Did you know Americans spend more money on cat food than they do on baby food? And in Canada, some folks are paying to have a personal chef prepare gourmet meals for their fussed over felines. Cats should be coddled. Look what they give us. Better health, companionship, coddling them, spoiling them. It's our way of saying thank you. Cat lovers and co-owners of Trust Pet Cuisine, Karen Frazier and Tabitha Chapman wanted to provide safe, nutritious and organic meals for people's pets. Our cat food is like human food. The only difference is we take out the added spices. The dishes are made with only the finest ingredients. Our recipes for our cats are fun. We have a shepherd's pie. We have mac and cheese. Every day, Tabitha and Chef George prepare 100 meals for cats and dogs. Mm, that smells wonderful. Parsley? And hand deliver them twice a week all over Toronto. And what do the cats think of the food? Our cats, they, they really love the food. I would hate to bring them back to the old stuff because I don't think they'd eat it anymore. There you go, no food. And two. It's one thing to purchase fancy gourmet food for your cat, but what about quitting your day job for them? That's what the dot-com millionaire Jonathan Rosenberg did after losing his cat, Tabby. If I didn't do something for cats when I had the chance, I would be sorry. So after leaving a high-powered job, Jonathan opened the doors to Tabby's Place. Tabby's Place is a sanctuary for cats rescued from hopeless situations. If they're not adopted from here, then they can live their lives out here. The cage-free sanctuary was built with a cat's every need and want in mind. At Tabby's Place, everything we do is strictly in the cat's best interest. Tabby's Place is 7,000 square feet and has five large communal living cat suites. And here you can see the custom furniture we had made, which gives the cats lots of room to sleep, climb on, eat, etc. All cats have access to see-through tunnels on the ceiling, where they lead to outdoor enclosures where the cats can get plenty of fun in the sun. We house 100 cats at any time, and we have saved to date just over 700 cats. Every time a cat is adopted, obviously, one more spot opens up. You ready to go on? And with each adoption, Jonathan is reminded of how good life can become for these cats he rescues. When cats...